Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video here on our beautiful channel where today we're going to go through uh, really quickly just uh, templates. So we're going to introduce templates here. And templates are very important before we start with classes, right? Because a big thing with classes is that you can use something called a template class to uh, not bind yourself to one specific type from the beginning. So uh, to understand that, I'm going to show you. So what you usually use templates for are functions, okay? Functions and the variables inside them. So basically what you do, say that we had a, say that we create two functions here for a multiplication and a, uh, and a no, addition and a subtraction. Let's keep it to that. So we had our functions, remember? Uh, it's going to return, we, we had one int, for example, um, add, and we had int number one, int number two, uh, like this, and we went ahead and returned result, and we had a int result equal number one plus number two. For example, this is an addition function, okay? Just two, adding two numbers together. Now, we're bound to integers here. If we want a function that works for doubles, we're going to have to straight up just copy this, and we can use function overloading, like we talked about, uh, the same name here, but make sure we have a different parameter list and that would give us this basically we have to add function and this works but this is a little tedious if you're gonna have a bunch of different types going in here you can have floats as well you can have uh, long ints and all kinds of stuff that you might want to do so uh, go ahead and use templates in that case if you have a function that you want to be a little more generic Okay, it's a generic type. This is a specific type, right? It's an integer, and it cannot be anything else. We can create a generic type here, which would, at runtime, at the time of the call, decide what type all this is going to be. Okay, so what you do for that is you write template type name t. Okay, you can write anything here. You can write lel, whatever. That type name will be your the replacement for this, the type name. So, but I, you usually write T it's as a standard, okay? So T, T, you you just straight up do this. So T tells the program basically that, okay, I don't want to know the type from the start. We'll decide the type when we actually use the function. So just chill out, don't go ahead and, and, and do anything uh, rash now. So T is going to reserve that uh, that type here and of course you can only use one type here like if you if you start putting in a double here and a and a integer that won't work it's gonna take one and it's gonna start complaining if you try that you need you can have one at a time so you can multiply or add two doubles or two integers or two floats two of the same thing and then it's gonna decide all the rest okay so let's go ahead and call this add let's say let's start with integers four Okay, see if I try to put in a double here, it's going to start complaining here. Yeah, see, int double. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you have the same thing here. Okay, we we have a template function, our first template function, 7, that worked. So say we want to do a addition on, whoops, like that, on doubles. It, it will decide that that's a, either a float val value or a double. So, as you can see, it automatically created the type here, decided the type here for us. This is a generic type, again, just to repeat. So, uh, yeah, there you go. And if we do the same thing here, we make a subtract function like that. What you need to remember is you need to do this every time you create a function ab above the function uh, header, okay? Or the function prototype. If you have your function down here, you know, like we did with the prototype, then you're going to have to copy that thing as well. Okay, copy this whole thing here as well. Just like that. That's what you're going to have to do. Okay, so remember that. Remember that. Otherwise, it will not know what this is. All right? So uh, that does not seem correct. That seems more like it. Um, yeah. So that's the way you have to do it, sadly. And... Uh, oh, whoops. I done goofed up. There we go. Okay. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Let's do the same thing for this. Let's just do this. And then we'll take this away. Do that. 
and we'll do that. So, there we go. Easy. Just so you learn all the small tricks and stuff. So, number one, all we have to do is just take minus there. And this is going to give us a subtraction of, let's say, let's subtract 5 and 2. Okay, let's see what that gives us. It should give us 3. Yes, it did. And we could uh, 2.0, 5.0, which is going to give us a double. Yeah, still 3 though, but let's do 0.3. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I need double. So uh, that's about it. Now I can show you one more thing with templates is that you can actually have two different types. Or actually, you know what? I'll save that. I'll save that. We'll have that in another video, or we'll just go through too much at once. So th these are template generic types. Go ahead and try them out, play with them a little bit. Uh, just uh, make sure you know why you're using them, and you'll be fine. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.